So this is just a concept of a trap base using the flamethrower. Um, and I say concept because you can adapt it in any way you want. This is just a way that I've put it together to try and implement it in a trap base. As every trap base has, you need your bait section um, to the side. Try and make it look as if it's a base that's been built up or in progress. Something that's actually taking place at this time. For this one I've put the token water catcher outside with the water barrel just to give them some kind of platform to jump up on. I've put some planters inside as well just to make it look as if it's a fully working base. As you look down you'll see I've left a door open, I've put a furnace there and a box close to the door which will become apparent in a second why. You can do what you want up here, it's, it's, it's a concept of how to use it its best way if you like. Notice one thing, from up here you can't hear anything at all. There's no sound that this could be a trap base, it's just the looks of how it is. I've set it up so the door opens out with a box. The reason why I've done that is because you can jump on the box, jump on the door and jump back out so the risk is minimal to the person jumping in so it's going to attract a solo player plus a group player because if they get the box as always happens, one person will go back, kill himself and come back naked and he'll be the sacrifice to get in and get the loot. Whereas this is given the option of anyone to just jump in and jump out. As they jump in, your little friend sitting there waiting for him. Notice you can hear that now, you couldn't hear it when it was up there. It's because of the sound blocker that's now in rust, so you can't actually hear anything if there's a wall blocking it. The furnace is there so the player can't run away into the that room or run away into this room it completely blocks them off so they're stuck in this little chamber they want to try and get up in this box jump up in that door and get out in time now if you don't already know you have to be authorised in the cupboard for this not to attack you so if moving into the cupboard room I'll demonstrate exactly how brutal this can be it's, it's, you don't really stand a chance if you fall in here Taking it as a thought of, I'm going to quickly check those boxes, check those funnels, so you jump back out. As soon as the player jumps in, dead. drop in, grab everything you need, close all the doors and get out and jump back in there. So I say, this is sort of a concept and how to use it, uh, but I think for trap bases this is a hell of a lot more effective using a turret, massively, turrets are a bit glitchy, and they don't always aim or you can sneak past into a corner and it'll run all this ammunition out with this if you fall in and it catches you you're fucked it's simple as that it's, you're not getting out there's no two ways about it um i say i hope this will help some of these other concepts um i mean there's other concepts i've thought of where this chamber's just windows at the side with them to fill up to the back where people drop in maybe have twig foundation twig stairs in place so when they jump in the twig it takes the twig out drops them down too and completely trap some just like this was but say this was just set up as a simple demonstration of how it could be implemented just by creating a chamber where you're basically stuck you cannot get out at all um, no one can come down and help you no one can come down and grab your stuff and jump back up once you're there you're there you just have to fill the thing with enough low grid it's it'll absolutely destroy anyone i say i hope this helps someday come up with something a bit more Blase than this. This is just a simple concept.